In this video, I will show you how to create rich business intelligence reports in IBM WebSphere Smash. This tutorial uses the Eclipse Business Intelligence and Reporting Tools project, otherwise known as BERT. BERT is an Eclipse-based open source reporting system for web applications. It has two main components, a report designer based on Eclipse and a runtime component that you can add to your applications. BERT also offers a charting engine that lets you add charts to your own applications. The BERT runtime is written in Java. It can be used in WebSphere Smash PHP applications through the Smash PHP to Java bridge. To kickstart this tutorial, I have already downloaded the Smash command line runtime and created an empty PHP application called Demo. I've also downloaded the BERT report designer and runtime components from the Eclipse website. The BERT downloads are available from the Eclipse website I'm using the 2.3 release. WebSphere Smash can be downloaded from the Project Zero website. I'm using the latest development driver called Sebring. The first task is to copy the BERT runtime into the Smash application. Java libraries in the BERT runtime also need to be copied into the smash lib directory. Smash needs to add the Java libraries into the application. We do this with an update step. For this example I'm using the hello world sample report from the BERT runtime download. The next step is to copy the sample report into the Smash application. We now need some PHP code to render the report into HTML. This example code is available on the Project Zero website. First we need a utility script that starts up the BERT runtime. This goes in the app scripts directory. The app scripts directory is automatically added to the PHP include path but is not directly addressable by web browsers. It's a great location to put include files and other utility scripts. We also need a script that will render the hello world report. This goes in the public folder so that web browsers can access it. Ok so that's everything set up, let's fire up the smash application. The application is up and running on port 8080, so we should be able to go ahead and request the report. We can see the Hello World report has been generated and rendered into HTML. We can also open the report in the report, in the report designer and make some changes. As a simple example, let's change the text in the report and save it. Reports are saved in an XML file format. They're self-contained and so can be easily copied to different machines for testing and deployment. Now when we re request the report again, we should see the updated content. To finish this tutorial, let's take a quick walk through the code. First the utility code. The BERT runtime is meant to be started up once per process. The Smash runtime is multi-threaded, so we have to be careful of race conditions. We use a global context lock so that only one thread starts the BERT runtime. The script makes a number of calls to the BERT runtime. These are documented on the BERT website. One thing to be aware of is that the BERT runtime has to be told where it was installed to. If you install BERT to another location, or if you download a different version of BERT, then you will need to update this script accordingly. Okay, so let's look at the script that does the rendering. 
The script begins by calling the startup utility function to get a runtime. If this is the first report to be rendered, then this will ensure the BERT runtime is started up correctly. Once we have a report runtime, we can open the report design file and re render it to HTML. We echo the contents of the file back to the browser and delete the temporary file afterwards. BERT has a rich variety of rendering options, including PDF, Excel and Word. There are many more reports, such as this example, available from the BERT website. In particular, I encourage you to download and install the sample database. It installs and runs on a variety of database servers, including MySQL. That brings this tutorial to a close. I hope you have enjoyed learning about WebSphere Smash and Eclipse BERT.